really helped me, you know, become become a better Peace Corps volunteer. I love these people like they're my own family. They really they just love you, and it's one of the best things ever. And it really is like a home now. I think overall it's been a great experience. It's been a fantastic experience for me. They look out for me. Um, if I ever have any problems, I know I can come to them. Um, they were very good to me. They invited me in as almost another child. My host family experience has been wonderful. Not only do I have a great host mom, host dad, host brother, host sister, I also have a host grandma, host grandpa, host cousins, host aunts, host uncles, host neighbors. When we come here, we think, oh, well, I, I want to live alone. Like, especially us being a young married couple, I thought for sure we'd want to live alone. So there are certainly some things that, you know, we give up um, in order to have this experience here. There are so many benefits that come with living with a host family. It's kind of, I guess, like going back to living with your parents when you were in high school. As Americans, we're kind of, you know, told when we turn 18, like, get out of the house, like, move out on your own, go to college, get a job, get an apartment. It's not really something that's valued to live with your parents mm -hmm. <laughs> or, you know, to live with other people except your mm -hmm. partner. Um, but it's different in Georgia. If you can be patient and kind of set some rules and boundaries um, in, in a very, I guess, diplomatic way, like, you'll, you should have no problems. Um, a lot of the differences I have encountered have mainly had to do with, like, food concerns. Uh, food is different. She uh, makes uh, really tasty meals, gamelieli. My mother in America does not let me eat cake in the morning, uh, but my host mom here does. I'm so. a very, very, very picky eater. The diet in America and Georgia is very different. You know, in America we have all sorts of different cuisines that we can choose from, but in the village, you know, it's this, this, or this. Um, the situation here is great for me, like I can cook or she can feed me. Sometimes I just don't want to eat beans. Sometimes I just don't want to eat hachapuri. So we'll make something myself. And I know, I know, you know, a little piece of my host mom's heart kind of breaks off. I steamed zucchini for them once and they're like, it's just so plain and then they'll make something and it's really salty or has a lot of oil and I'm like, mm, that's a little not plain enough. I'm <laughs> 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 they use a lot of oil when they cook. That's why they use a lot of oil when they cook. They use a lot of oil when they cook. We decided we wanted to join the Peace Corps because we really wanted to experience a different way of life and understand how a totally different people live and living with a host family is the best way to do that. I wanted the chance to experience something that I haven't yet in any other country besides the U.S. and kind of learn as much as I possibly could about Georgian culture and Georgian family life. I like living with the family because it helps me understand the country and culture much deeper. When I'm open, my family is open towards me. You can share what's important to you and what's important 
you find important about yourself with the, your families. And by doing that, I've found that they share things with me. Um, and it makes it a much better experience. I think in general, the gender roles in Georgia are difficult to, um, to deal with initially. But um, with the training we get, we kind of are aware of it. And I'm lucky to be in a family where it's not really that big of an issue. Um, Zura helps out a lot, so much more than most men in this country. But once you have that close bond, like you're able to share anything. no, I can't believe that we did that. Contact the Ramay, that the other one, Jerry Gauma, is a kind of robot, Chem Shuls, the Hada. We have to look at the Terry that she goes to Tirtova, they have to have us are Malat in the that Mikhariaro, my name is Kelly Mohda, the good news to get a sea over here, Jim Jasher of the Kelly. So I make sure he's got his homework done before he gets on the computer, uh -huh. and it's a little incentive for him to get his work done, so uh, it works out pretty well. You know what we can do? Open uh, uh, Ch Jenny's class. Cheney uh, got Bettini in uh, Cut yes. Okay? Uh, right there. Okay, open. Vietnamese <laughs> <laughs> With my very little bit of Georgian and her very little bit of Georgian, she comes to my room and asks to dance and we have dance parties. Eddie, Ori, Sami! She's just a constant source of light and joy in my life. Roli Rogos has a tea, can not see the bully work, Magalitas. Rogos Sabota Shulish was his head for a week. I rogot Shuli, I asked Ros, Kestrol of Sotashi. Your mind to Ragata, the Squad Ship the Gadatula, and the Adam Chip and the Rajana Chemo Jashimo, the Robot Chola, which heavy shrill chamodis, the mistress to cut me, Rateda, Gianis Nama. one of my biggest fears about going to the Peace Corps and at all was living with the host family. I had the option of living in an apartment by myself. And at first, like, it is really scary because you just don't know the people. But I think it's the best of both worlds when I'm not alone all the time. That wouldn't be fun at all. 
you say every night, you know, car God dies, you know, get it swell, you know, sleep well, my dear. And, um, you know, that's, that's our little thing. And, um, you know, but, um, you know, the day that I leave Georgia and I won't hear that when I go to bed <laughs> will be, will be really hard for me. So please take a volunteer. <laughs> It'll be one of the best experiences of your life too.